Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's our topic is biofilm, a threat to food industry. So, in this video, we will discuss about the definitions of slime, grime, and biofilm. The first step, and the second step, we will discuss about the contamination of microorganisms, growth cycle of biofilm, and the bacteria which are producing the biofilm, which are forming the biofilm. In the second step and the third step we will discuss about impact of biofilm formation in food industry the fourth step is we will discuss about how to control how to eradicate biofilm formation in food processing and in environment and food processing industries and equipment now let us start the video As you all know, microorganisms need a solid surface conditioned with sufficient nutrients for growth. Then once the microorganisms gets availability of sufficient nutrients, it will multiply further and newly formed cells cling to each other as well as the surface forming a confluently growing colony of microorganisms. As they grow and multiply, the newly formed cells cling to each other as well as as the surface forming a confluently growing colony of microorganisms when this mass of cells becomes large enough to entrap debris nutrients and other microorganisms a microbial biofilm is established now what is microbial slime yes so slime is an unorganized layer of extracellular material so which surrounds the bacteria so the slime will help the bacteria to adhere to the surface like a steel or metal surfaces or any food contact surfaces and slime will help the bacteria to entrap the nutrients some bacteria will form the slime for example listeria salmonella species pseudomonas species the bacteria will form the slime also the food the organic matter contains carbon containing compounds like carbohydrates the bacteria utilizes the carbon containing compounds and once the carbon containing compounds decomposes by hydrolysis then the polysaccharides will form the slime contains polysaccharides and glycoproteins it is a sticky layer it will help to grow the bacteria it will help to adhere the bacteria it will help to entrap the materials now the second definition is grime what is grime yes grime is nothing but <coughs> dirt and soot filthy material embedded on solid surface of any food contact surfaces or non food contact surfaces in seafood industry we have seen some areas the grime formations like see the roller belts ikef belts conveyor belts the rolling mechanism the moving system where is the moving system we have to apply the lubricants for example grading machines belts and conveyor belts so during uh, to facilitate easy motion we will apply some food grade lubricants to the rollers so the grime formation how the grime formation will occur the soot contains oily or greasy liquid or oily greasy uh, layer will trap the dirt and ultimately the filthy material also will trap on that if you have not cleaned for more than a week or something the grime formation will occur once the grime formation will happen it's very difficult to remove also by gentle scrubbing so this is about the grime and what about the biofilm what is biofilm what is biofilm biofilm is a microorganisms irreversibly attach and grow on a solid surface and produce extracellular polymerase substance to entrap the nutrients the simple definition of biofilm 
Biofilm is nothing but a, a community of interacting microorganisms embedded on polymerase matrix adhered to the food contact surfaces. Biofilm consists of largely water and polysaccharides and glycoproteins will form as extracellular polymerase substance. Microorganisms not uniformly distributed in biofilm. For example, the colonization of one bacterial genus will influence formation of other bacterial genus. If the biofilm initially, if the biofilm contains uh, pseudomonas bacteria, will influence the formation of listeria, will attract listeria to form the biofilm. Bacteria gain a number of advantages in biofilm. Yes. So the bacteria, the biofilm will protect the environment and the bacteria will gain the microbial resistance, antimicrobial resistance capacity. So the bacteria which are in the biofilm, which can have antimicrobial resistance from 100 to 200 or 500 times against sodium hypochlorite solutions. Even bacteria can withstand in a desiccation situation in dry environment also. Third step, in this step, we will discuss about the sources of contamination of uh, microbes to form a biofilm. So in this, first we should know the facts about the biofilm and the growth cycle of the biofilm and the biofilm behavior, microorganisms behavior in a biofilm. Now the sources of contamination. So, the sources of contamination is uh, the biofilm, how it will form through the equipment also. Microbes can contaminate on food contact surfaces and through the processing operations. And the next one is utilities like water and ice and the raw material and staff. And this one is the facility flow of staff and material waste. These are all the sources of microbial contamination in food processing environment. Microbes attach easily on manufacturing surfaces like SS, aluminum or polypropylene etc. So these are the sources. Some facts about the biofilm is 80% of biomass in our planet, microbial flora in our planet exists in the biofilm. And when the microbes which are living inside the biofilm having more antimicrobial resistance, minimum 200 times will exhibit antimicrobial resistance. These are the uh, facts about the biofilms. Initial formation of the biofilm by uh, Escherichia coli pseudomonas will influence us, attract the formation of Listeria monocytogenes biofilms. So this is a multi genre of the biofilm. So this is the fixing stage initially the biofilm so the microbes will secrete the slime so the biofilm growth cycle comprises four stages the first one is fixing the microorganisms fixed to the surface of the food contact material or adjacent to the food contact material <coughs> and the second step is once fixing the microorganisms it will produce the eps extracellular polymerase substances so it will fix the substratum firmly adhesive nature due to sticky nature it will entrap the nutrients and organic material during the production so and one genera of microorganisms at the initial stage it will attract the multi genera of microorganisms if equally starts forming the biofilm then listeria also will attract it to merge into that biofilm formation this is the growing step so the bacteria cells will grow rapidly and multiply grow and this the third one is maturation section maturation section proliferation will be in the exponential stage the bacteria will proliferate in the biofilm then the then the last one is spreading so the finally the biofilm uh, will burst the uh, film uh, eps matrix and the biofilms will spread on to the food contact materials or additional food contact materials this is how the biofilm will recycle which bacteria can be found in biofilm mostly the slime producing bacteria will form the biofilm. For example, Echerichia coli species and Spudomonas species, Ersinica species, Campylobacter jejuni, Salmonella typhi and Salmonella species, Listeria species 
etc so these are the bacteria which will produce slime and form the matrix like biofilm formation will take place biofilms in processing environment can present economic and health hazards they pose important problems for industry that results in decreased productivity and replacement of expensive equipment for example mixed species of biofilm containing sulfate reducing and oxidizing bacteria can corrode metal surfaces and lead to increased flow resistance and equipment blockages increased accumulation of particles on surface can result in corrosion due to cathodic depolarization and acid production in our modern food processing facility supports biofilm formation of bacteria on food contact surfaces due to mass production of products lengthy production cycles wet surface areas biofilms have been found in various food processing industries facilities like uh, seafood processing industries raw uh, shrimp processing industries cooked frozen industries fish processing industries and crab processing industries meat chicken processing industries also there once once biofilm formation in food processing in industries it's very difficult to remove on food contact surfaces often resulting in persistent and endemic populations for example the strain persistence of listeria has been documented to last from 8 months to 10 years due to resistance to cleaning and sanitizing regimes biofilm formation by pathogenic bacteria on food contact surfaces can lead to contamination of food products during processing which lowers product shelf life results in human food borne illness now the third step is impact of biofilm formation on food industries yes the recent study the trend analysis says that 60% of food borne illness are caused by due to the contamination from biofilm that is true yes how the bacteria are protected in biofilm yes biofilm will protect the bacteria physically from desiccation means dried environment also bacteria can survive several months to years and how the bacteria will be protected by chemical agents or antimicrobial agents yes the biofilm contains organic material also it will trap the organic material and nutrients when we apply our traditional disinfectant like sodium hypochlorite it will react on organic substances on the biofilm the residue the concentration of the free chlorine also will neutralize or will become diluted so that is how the bacteria in biofilm having antimicrobial resistance also will be more so that is why in every quarter or in every 6 months the facilities especially producing rte foods ready to eat cooked shrimps or raw frozen shrimps also we have to change the sanitizing agents or we have to change the disinfectants because sodium hypochlorite cannot eradicate the biofilm forming bacteria cannot kill the biofilm forming bacteria biofilm formation requires moisture nutrients and surface like natural materials or ashes polythene wood glass rubber adverse effects of biofilm formation on food industry the first one is the biofilm formation on uh, food industry will leads to uh, food borne illness or outbreaks of pathogens contamination and the biofilm formation in the food industry leads to recalls it may lose the consumer confidence and the biofilm also will corrode the metal equipments like ashes or other Uh, metal equipments now the last step fourth step is control of biofilms in food industry nowadays there are many methods advanced technologies are available to eradicate or to control the biofilm formation in food, food industry food. the first step is disinfectants yes to control the biofilms so we have to use now it is the chemicals like see sodium hypochlorite is there and quaternary ammonium compound is there generally uh, 10 ppm chlorine exposure time of 30 minutes will effectively kill all kind of microorganisms but whereas the microorganism embedded in the biofilm having more antimicrobial resistance even if you apply 500 ppm of chlorine also sometimes we can only get the results of one log reduction or two log reductions so that is how how the bacteria will 
gain the resistance against antimicrobial agents. So the bacteria will gain the antimicrobial resistance against this sodium hypochlorite 500 times means maybe 1000 ppm of sodium hypochlorite also we have to apply on the surfaces of food contacts to control or to uh, eradicate the biofilm formation that is one method and the study also recent study also says the same thing 500 ppm or 1000 ppm of sodium hypochlorite is required to eradicate to control the biofilms to inactivate the vegetative cells which are embedded on the a solid surface and the next one is enzymatic disruptions yes there are many enzymes are available which will degrade the matrix formation yes extracellular polymerase substances means an extracellular polymerase matrix if we apply the enzymes if we apply the enzymes on food contact surfaces are adjacent to food contact surfaces where the areas suspicious areas the biofilm has been formed these enzymes will degrade the matrix automatically by washing pressurized washing will completely eradicate the biofilm formation another method to control the biofilm is by using nanotechnology yes nothing but nanoparticles like zinc oxide are silver particles magnesium oxide so when we uh, apply on the surfaces so which will interrupt the quorum sensing of microbial flora quorum sensing is nothing but the bacteria's communication mechanism once we interrupt the microbial communication mechanism interrupt the quorum sensing automatically the matrix formation will retard we can easily eradicate or remove the biofilm formation by applying nanoparticles on suspicious places or where the uh, areas biofilm formation formed now the next control method is biosurfactants yes so we can apply biosurfactants on food contact surfaces or adjacent to the food contact surfaces or where the areas biofilm formation has occurred these biosurfactants will act as hydrophobic once the biosurfactant will act as a hydrophobic it will detach the adhesion of the extracellular polymerase matrix on the solid surface so ultimately by gentle wash we can remove the biofilm formation then another method is essential oils yes so these eucalyptus oil neem oil and some other uh, camphor oil having anti biofilm properties it will control the biofilm formation in food industry and the last one is applying high hydrostatic pressure pressurized washing yes also can inactivate vegetative cells or can control or eradicate the biofilm formation but high hydrostatic pressure means 300 to 900 a mega pascals pressure is required to eradicate or inactivate vegetative cells or to eradicate the biofilm formation on solid surfaces so these are the control methods to prevent the biofilm formation in food industry that's all about the video and thank you for watching my video if you like the video please comment on and subscribe my channel for regular updates bye